In this video, we will compare traditional TOC combustion technology versus the Sievers Innovox TOC Analyzer's patented supercritical water oxidation, or SCWO, technique. TOC analyzers that rely on combustion technology have a quartz reactor that is packed with an expensive catalyst, constantly heated from 680 to 1200 degrees Celsius. Dilution water and sample, including inorganic salts and particulates, are injected into the reactor. The sample is oxidized with the aid of the catalyst and heat. The resulting carbon dioxide is carried out to the detector. All salts, particulates, and resulting combustion byproducts remain inside the reactor tube and contaminate the platinum catalyst. The salts begin to attack the quartz reactor and cause devitrification, which will ultimately cause the reactor tube to crack. The remaining particulates and combustion byproducts will begin to restrict the gas flow path and coat the catalyst. When the catalyst is partially coated, the efficiency to oxidize the sample is severely reduced and recalibration is necessary. At this point, there is no recovery. The user will need to replace components to ensure quality data. Costs will include parts, a full day of labor, and downtime waiting for system stabilization. As an alternative to combustion, the Sievers Innovox TOC Analyzer uses supercritical water oxidation, SCWO. This unique approach to wet chemical oxidation employs both heat and pressure. The increased pressure within the reaction cell dramatically improves the efficiency of the oxidation process, thereby offering better recovery for difficult matrices. Supercritical water oxidation technique occurs in the reactor module of the analyzer. Let's take a deeper look at what is happening to the sample in the reactor chamber. First, the sample enters the cool, unpressurized chamber. It is then brought to its supercritical state by heating the sealed reactor to 375 Celsius. This increases the pressure inside the reactor to 3200 PSI due to the expansion of liquid when entering the gaseous phase. At these conditions, the water is neither a gas nor a liquid, but exhibits beneficial properties of both. Supercritical water oxidation has been achieved. With the increased heat and pressure, the organic carbon is oxidized to CO2 through the addition of sodium persulfate, an oxidizer. As an added benefit, inorganic salts are no longer soluble at conditions and therefore do not interfere with the oxidation reaction. Lastly, temperature and pressure gradually return back to ambient conditions. Salts dissolve again in the water and are flushed out of the reactor, along with any remaining particulates. Unprecedented efficiency is achieved using Sievers Innovox TOC Analyzer and its supercritical water oxidation technique. Thanks to this technique, the Innovox can process samples high in salts and suspended solids, leading to less frequent component changes and reduced maintenance costs. The Sievers Innovox is a top-of-the-line analyzer to meet your TOC needs. Thank you.